Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for January 7th. This is for whoever it resonates with. Um, we're just going to see whatever comes up. I focus on love. Let's see what comes up. January 7th for love. I'm going to do another single segment next for the next seven days for each of the signs. The air, fire, water, earth. So stay tuned for that. Uh, this is a daily vibe for January 7th. What is it? Monday, January 7th. What do we got? 1-7. Angel of Strength. Door to Spirit. Now, this is the second reading that I've done. I don't know if I'm going to play the first one. I may. Yeah, I changed my mind. Ooh, woman holding heart. Because the very first card was a different deck. It was a, a man, a greedy man, you know, all about his money, the very first card. And I wasn't going to play it because it wasn't the most positive reading. But, um, but this is kind of looking the same. It is looking the same. So that happens a lot, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> it does definitely look in the same because it looks like somebody's finding the strength and it's divinely guided from heaven. The second card was was the star card, which is spiritual, uh, to communicate. Son of a bitch. So, and the strength card was there. This is going to be the same kind of, oh my God, I can't believe it. Well, I can. This happens a lot, right? So somebody is going to find the strength to communicate with the woman they love. And they may have tried to deny this love. Um, but they can't deny it because it's meant to be. It's divinely guided. It's a blessing. It's, it is, it's like spirit has brought these two people together. It's a perfect match. This is very similar, very similar to the reading I just did so far. Attachment, attached. Yeah. And this person has been attached to something that doesn't serve them. Money, perhaps greed, all the wrong things. Interesting. Healer right under this. This is absolutely brought. This is a heaven sent. This is a heaven sent a divine connection. Indecision. Yes. We had the hangman right here in the reading. The other one. But it's a different deck. It is. This person has been undecided. And now I think that, you know, the, the other person is undecided as well. Now, this is about communication. So somebody is going to, or they're feeling like they really want to communicate how they truly feel, but they're, they're not sure. They're not sure which road to take. They're absolutely being poked and prodded by spirit to detach from something, to find their strength and their courage to communicate how they feel to this woman. Whoever this man is, the man in this dynamic is very capable, stable, secure, has has the ability to take care of this woman who is very caring, loving, kind, and nurturing, okay? This man is... is uh, wondering if he should communicate or what he should communicate. He's being guided to do so. He's being, you know, told from spirit in heaven to to communicate. He's hearing it. His inner guide. He's being poked, 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 poked. Communicate, communicate, communicate. The fifth chakra is communication. He's being poked to communicate by the universe. God. Angels. And he's, he's unsure if he should take action right now or not. Which way he should go. Should he listen? Should he listen to what he's hearing? Thing is, is if he does, he's really going to have to appreciate this woman. And he does appreciate this woman. He sees her worth. He sees her worth. He does. So he's thinking about making an offer. She knows her worth and he knows it. 
He knows it. And there's an opportunity for extreme abundance here, for growth, beauty. Opportunity. There's so much opportunity here. Anyway, I feel like this is this is this is angels, right? What's this? 43 and 44. This is fated. It's fated. And we have the tower right here and the other ones and it leads to victory. So anyway, I think we have a fated union here that in which uh we have a man that is thinking about communicating to his the woman that or he may even be communicating because of that this is the this is the this is the archangel of communication it really is honest truthful communication but this is indecision so he's either thinking about it or he's actually going to do it and this has been divinely guided i mean this this is a this is a union that is absolutely meant to be the only thing is is there's some conflicts here there's some conflicts with with making a change because fives are conflicts conflicts and change five 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 okay these all convert to five 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 it's a major life change if this person communicates it's going to change their and how they truly feel about this woman in her heart if they if they communicate how they truly feel their whole life is going to change drastically five 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 that's that's drastic life change it is it is so you know in order in order for them to do that you know they're going to have to reevaluate their whole life and it is a time of reevaluation here six is six six reevaluation six six this person is reevaluating a woman's a spot in his life you know where where does this woman stand in my life how do i truly feel about this woman you know and he's undecided as to whether you know he should go ahead and make this offer you know this stable this is a commitment this is this is a commitment should i should i commit to this woman you know that he's in the process of deciding should i commit to this woman and she's just like you know my heart is available right now who wants it who wants my heart? Her heart is out. It's like, who wants my heart? Who wants it? Who wants it? You know, and whoever gets, she's very abundant woman. She is very abundant. I mean, she can, she, she, you could call her the empress, okay? She can grow anything. It was right underneath. She can grow anything with ease, with ease, with love. Love grows anything, right? So that's who she is. That's who she is. She is the queen of love or the empress, and she has the ability to, to grow, and this man sees it. He sees it, and he sees that she's the answer to his prayers. She's sent from heaven. She's an angel. Fours are angels. So she's an angel, and he sees that. So I, in seven, so this is absolutely divinely guided. So we have, a, we have a man here that is trying to decide which route he wants to take in regards to a woman whose heart is right there. You know, it's it's offered. It's it's like on the table. It's like, do you want it or not? Do you want it or not? You know what I mean? And he knows that, you know, she's worthy. He knows that she is worthy. So I feel like we have a man here that may actually communicate that he wants a commitment. This is something stable, solid, long term to this woman who is so open to love. I mean, she's, she's ready. Her heart is ready. It's ready. She's like offering it. Or do you want it or not? Do you want it or not? So I, I do. I mean, that's what that's what this is about. You could receive if you are this woman whose heart is ready, and I mean your heart is ready, healed, because this is here. It's healed. If you are this woman whose heart is healed, we have a man that has been watching. If I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and play the other reading. We have a man that has been watching, and he is. He's gonna he's he's really thinking about 
you know, coming with some sort of proposal or um, communication that says, yeah, I do. I want something stable. I want something solid. I want something long term. I appreciate you. I see what you're worth. I, I see who you are and I want to grow with you because this is growth. I want to grow with you. He sees that this is a perfect match. He does. And your perfect match comes up in the other reading quite a bit. So I feel like you're going to, somebody is going to receive communication from their perfect match. And it's going to lead to victory. That's what I see. Let's get an angel romance card just for the heck of it. Just for the heck of it. What do we got for the seventh? I'm going to download this reading first because the other one's not as pretty. You know how my readings go. It's not as pretty. It's not as, uh, you know, it's got some hard things in there. So I'm going to post this one first. Unrequited love. And this, ex the other readings, this comes up. And this card doesn't come up, but I bring it up. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to re keep this relationship going. In the other reading that I did just about, well, 10 minutes ago now, I don't know how long this has been going on for, somebody took too long, and the other person fell out of love. So, you know, perhaps, I'm going to set it right here, perhaps somebody is, is healing from an unrequited love situation, or they need to make a decision and communicate before it turns into this. Because that's what happens. The longer you wait, the farther the other person goes. Okay? That's what happens. Somebody needs to find the strength and the courage to communicate how they truly feel before it's too late. That's the message. That's the message for both readings. This woman knows her worth and her heart is out there and somebody is going to take it. That's the truth. She's on the outside. She's like, do you want it or not? If he doesn't take it, somebody else is going to because she is abundant. She's, she's on the outside of this situation and he knows that she is available. Either he, he appreciates her and makes that offer or she's going to give it to somebody else. And then, you know, that's when it becomes unrequited love because somebody didn't find the strength to follow their intuition and make a choice. Anyway, so we, have a, we do have a man here that is making a choice. He's making a choice right now whether he is going to communicate or let it die. And that's what we got for the 7th. Talk to you next time.